<laughs> I have depression. What's up, family? Good morning and welcome back. Today we have another episode of The Greatest Sneaker Never Made. For this one, we're gonna be checking out the Comme de Garcon Otomo Katsuhiro SB Dunk Low, also known as the Akira Dunks. For those of you who don't know, Akira is a very iconic Japanese animated film from 1988. And uh, it's basically about a dude with a receding hairline, giga brain, and something about Canada. It is a super good movie. If you haven't already, I would highly recommend watching it. Look at that box, man. Ooh, that's a good cone. Uh, oh. Yeah, real or not, this might be one of the cleanest shoe boxes I've ever seen. It's pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? We got a whole bunch of dudes entering the metaverse, watching some VR hentai, doing, I don't know, doing something. Why is this guy looking at me? Really cool box. It's got a nice glossy finish to it. This is the ninth piece of art in the set of 28 mail outs they did back in 2013. Yeah, let's, uh, let's crack it open. There's the plug. Big thanks to Yaya Kick for sending these out. Yeah, shoe paper's nice as well. There's a little postcard, Comme de Garçon. Little backstory about these. This is a fantasy pair based off the Comme des Garçons collab with Otomo Katsuhiro, the creator of Akira. The first concept for the shoes was actually made by a sneaker customizer and artist on IG that goes by the handle No Brainer. He made a set of like three, I believe. It was a really popular post and the factories in China kind of saw this and started producing their own versions. Just recently, he did make the original concept using pretty premium materials. So if you do have the capital around 650, i definitely check them out. But um, yeah, for these ones, the factories in China produced these along with four other colorways. I believe this colorway in particular is based off the OG movie poster, or maybe the pill on the famous red jacket. Not too sure. They even designed their own hang tag for this sneaker. Definitely adds to that Neo Tokyo cyberpunk aesthetic. It's very nice. Little square piece of metal. This colorway reminds me of old Nike trainers, like the Cortez. It has that same red, white, and blue except these are more weathered looking. We have a primarily white upper with a light clay up at the toe and on the side panels. Then there's touches of blue towards the back and a maroon swoosh. A cyan blue suede goes crazy hard. It's an entirely suede upper and uh, the suede is, dare I say it, buttery. It is so soft. The suede is like super fine too. Yeah, it's hard to see because of the color, but the movement is crazy. I, don't, I never know, suede or nubuck? Whatever it is, it feels really nice. So soft. Also, this is an SB Dunk, so it does have that slopey toe box. The shape is super clean. Yeah, the construction is amazing. Perfect stitching, perfect shape, nothing's going crazy. Very impressive. The QC on these was very good. On the original concepts, there was Otomo's name in hiragana on the back heel. Might have to add that myself, because without it, it kind of just looks like a really dope SB Dunk colorway. Maybe I'll put the pill. Yeah. We'll see. For the laces, these come with two options. We got a cream and an off-white color. Both colors match the different panels. It's not a very loud sneaker, so so either way, can't really go wrong. The cream on top of the blue tongue do be looking real nice though. Speaking of the tongue, the tongue is a uh, not quite indigo, maybe a lapis lazuli. <laughs> Little Minecraft record. Kill yourself. Oh, okay. Just like all the other panels, it's a super soft suede. It feels and looks amazing. On most of the SBs, you know, you got this huge fat tongue, but on this one, the suede kind of thins it up a little bit. Yeah, the quality on these, Nike, you best be taking notes. Also, they're, they're very comfy. Do they got zoom? Nope, just a really cushy insole. No, uh, no heel zoom unit like on the normal SBs. You could probably still skate them though. They feel super nice and the upper isn't thin like on the pink bear SBs. Back towards the heel, or that suede, cyan, is that cyan? Nice blue suede towards the back there. All the stitching is on point. And the Nike embroidery on the heel. We got a plain white midsole with some burgundy thread matching the swoosh. Nice little contrast there. And below that, we have a black outsole to top it off. Yeah, it's kind of crazy they can produce this type of quality. It's almost like if they aren't trying to copy a sneaker, the quality gets better. This colorway did release with four other different colorways, so maybe we'll get around to those in the future. But this one, 
yeah, the materials, the shape, it's looking insane. That is my detailed look and review of uh, the greatest sneaker never made. What do you guys think of these? Should Nike be taking notes? Uh, I think so. Thanks for watching, thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So, dude. Also, little sneak peek at what we got next. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's all you get, though. So watch out for those. They're coming. Give me time. Maybe another month. <laughs> Just kidding. You are watching a master at work.